Hi, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll guide you through setting up and optimizing Prebid in Google Ad Manager, unlocking the full potential of this dynamic duo. Now let's start by exploring what Prebid is all about. Prebid offers publishers an arsenal of technical tools and an organized structure to streamline, optimize, and maintain ethical standards in header bidding. Its flexibility and commitment to transparency have made it a cornerstone of the programmatic advertising industry. Prebit boasts a vast library of adapters, forging easy connections between publishers and a diverse range of demand partners. These demand partners, organizations, platforms, or ad networks are hungry to buy ad space. Prebit's adapters work like magic, making the process efficient and simplifying how these demand partners place bids on a publisher's available ad inventory. But what truly sets Prebit apart is its open source nature, which means anyone can access, modify, and customize its code to fit their unique needs perfectly. This feature, combined with the adapters, makes Prebit a top choice for many publishers seeking a header bidding solution. Now, let's dive into Prebit.js, the heart of the Prebit ecosystem. Within the Prebit ecosystem, you'll find Prebit.js. It's a wrapper for header bidding. In other words, it's a JavaScript code that sends requests to the demand partners to find bids on their behalf, simplifying integration and management. Within its capabilities, Prebit.js has become the most widely used header bidding wrapper on the Internet. Now let's dive into how Prebit works with Google's ad server, Google Ad Manager. There are six key steps that explain the process. Prebit.js, the JavaScript library for header bidding, sends out bid requests to the supply or demand-side platforms the publisher is connected with. Meanwhile, the ad tags from GAM are temporarily paused by a timer to ensure that the actual ad creative isn't loaded until the highest bid is determined. Then, Prebid processes the bid responses and determines the highest bidder, caching the creative asset provided by the winner. Next, Google Ad Manager receives the parameters of the winning bidder from Prebid through key values. GAM compares these parameters with its available line items, configurations that define when and how the ads are served. If GAM determines that the Prebid line item is the winner, it selects one of the available winning line item creatives, which then serves an ad. Now, let's talk about the prerequisites for Prebit GAM integration. Google Ad Manager operates within a hierarchical structure, with advertisers in the highest tier, followed by orders and line items, and finally creatives. To set up Google Ad Manager for Prebit, you can choose to send either the highest bid to the ad server or all bids from participating bidders. If you're interested in sending only the highest bid, you can create one general pre-bid advertiser to encompass all the bids. Then, set up orders under this advertiser to organize your campaigns. If you want to send all the bids from participating bidders, create one pre-bid advertiser for each bidder. And organize orders under each pre-bid advertiser for specific line items. Next, you need to create key values. Key values are used to pass information about bids and bid prices to the ad server, allowing it to understand which bidder won the auction and at what price. Before you can use these key value pairs in your line items, you need to define them in GAM. Let's go through the steps on how to do it. Defining keys. In the key values section, you will enter the specific pre-bid related keys. These keys are identifiers that correspond to the information about the ad request like in the example on screen. Accepted values. You have the option to define accepted values for these keys. This means you can specify what values are valid for each key. However, this step is not mandatory. If you're working with dynamic keys, values can be added later when you set up your line items. Key length limitation. Keys in GAM have a maximum length of 20 characters. If the keys passed to GAM are longer than 20 characters, they will be truncated. For example, if Prebit sends a key like this, GAM will truncate it to this. Therefore, when you create these keys in GAM, you must use their truncated forms to ensure they fit within the character limits. Now, let me explain a bit more about the price buckets. 
Each key value price corresponds to a specific price bucket, categorizing bids into predefined ranges. For example, we at Setapad use the following settings. 0 to $4 equal to 0 $0.01 increments, 4 to $5 equal to 0 $0.1 increments, and 5 to $99 equal to 0 $0.5 increments. Price buckets help reduce the computational load on ad servers and improve system efficiency. It's essential to find the right balance for granularity. For instance, if many bids fall between $1.20 and $1.52, a finer granularity captures more revenue. In our case, the price paid will be $1.52. The closer the line item price is to the actual bid, the better. Now let's go through a step-by-step -step guide to set up pre-bid in GAM. Step 1. In the GAM homepage, click on My Orders. Then select New Order. Step 2. Enter a name for the order. For example, pre-bid. You can also select an advertiser from the drop-down menu or create a new one. Don't forget to specify the trafficker's email address. Step 3. Click New Line Item to begin setting it up. Within the Settings tab of the Line Item Setup, follow these six key steps to configure it effectively. First, select an ad type. Depending on the type of ad you're using, select Display Ad or Video or Audio Ad. Second, enter a name for your line item. It's recommended to use a format like Prebit Format Price Bucket, for example, Prebit Banner 150. Third, set the line item type to price priority and price, for example, 150. Fourth, specify the sizes of all ad slots involved in the pre-bid process based on the ad type you selected. For native ads, choose a native template. Fifth, configure the delivery settings as follows. Start time, set to immediately. End time, set to unlimited. Goal, set to none. Rate, set to your chosen price bucket. Sixth, set rotate creatives to evenly under adjust delivery. You can leave the other settings at their defaults. These steps help you set up the line item parameters within GAM to work effectively with Prebit. By configuring the general settings, delivery settings, and expected creatives, you ensure the line item will interact correctly with the ad auction process. Next, setting up targeting for pre-bid line items. Within the line item setup, navigate to the Add Targeting section. Then, expand the custom targeting options. Prebid provides two options for the number of bids that will be sent to the ad server. Send all bids to the ad server that are received from the header bidding demand partners, this is the default behavior in pre-bid. Or send only the top bid from among all the demand partner responses. Our recommendation would be to select send top bid, as it eliminates the need for countless line items and doesn't affect website's latency as much as send all bids setup. This is because it sends only top bid data in the add request query string instead of all bidders data as it does in sending all bids configuration. Okay, so let's go through the steps for top bid. Choose the HBPB key value where the value is the price of the line item. Set the targeting condition to is any of and specify the price bucket value that corresponds to your line item. This helps determine the specific price range you want to target. If your ad slots can be filled by multiple formats like banner, outstream or native creatives, you'll need to include additional keys for each format. For banners, outstream, and native creatives, use the same line item. To cover all possibilities, add the HB format key with values specifying all expected formats. This defines the creative format that's expected for the ad slot. Select HB format, then set the condition to is any of, and finally enter video banner native. If you're sending all bids to the ad server, your targeting keys need to include the bidder code. You need to create special key values and orders with line items for each bidder. Just like in our key value examples we mentioned earlier in this guide. Next, add a pre-bid creative. 
Navigate to the creative section within GAM. Choose the Add Creative option. From the available list, select the advertiser that you previously associated with your previous line items. Choose third-party creative as the type of creative you want to add. Give your creative a name. You'll also need to add the actual code for the creative into the code snippet field. You can use Previd Universal Creative. Once the code is in place, click Save. After, return to the GAM homepage and click on My Orders. Find and select the Previd line item you created earlier. Within this line item, you'll see two main tabs, Settings and Creatives. Click on the Creatives tab. Here, you have the option to use an existing creative or to upload a new one. Since you've just created a creative, you'll choose the Use Existing Creative option. From the list of existing creatives, select the previous creative you added. Click Save. Now switch to the Settings tab of your line item and fill out any necessary details. If the override is enabled, ensure that you select all sizes and save. Now, let's duplicate Add Creatives and Line Items in Google Ad Manager. Let's start with Add Creatives. Select the Add Creative you want to duplicate. Navigate to the More Actions menu and choose Copy Creative. Repeat this process for each Add Creative. Once you've duplicated the necessary Add Creatives, you can duplicate Line Items. This is necessary to capture bids above or below a specific threshold. Return to My Order and select the line item you wish to duplicate. Click More Actions, then select Copy and share the copy. A confirmation pop-up box will appear, choose OK. Now you need to differentiate duplicated line items to avoid confusion. Modify the name of each duplicated line item. Set the specific price bucket CPM rate. Define key values as needed. Complete any other necessary fields and click Save. Now, let's go through monitoring and analyzing pre-bid performance in GAM. This is essential to ensure that your header bidding implementation is optimized and generates maximum revenue. Here are four steps to monitor pre-bid's performance. Step number one, check bid responses. To ensure you're receiving bid responses, use browser developer tools or enable pre-bid debug mode by adding question mark pbjs debug equals true to your URL. Then click the inspect element, open the console tab, and then click info on the left-hand side. Step number two, verify GAM integration. Confirm that winning bids from pre-bid are sent to GAM as key value pairs and that the correct line items and creatives are being targeted. Step number three, optimize pre-bid settings. Optimize your pre-bid setup by adjusting timeout settings and refining price granularities to enhance performance. Step number four, monitor performance. Regularly review the performance of your demand partners, ad units, and overall setup to ensure optimal revenue and user experience. Monitor individual ad unit performance, identify high-performing units for adding more demand partners, and address underperforming units that may require optimization or removal from your header bidding setup, especially when an ad availability is an issue. In addition to these steps, you can use Google Ad Manager to generate reports based on key value pairs. Since Prebid sends winning bids as key value pairs, you can track CPMs for different price buckets and assess which price ranges generate the most impressions and revenue. The HB Bidder key allows you to report data per SSP. Assign custom labels to line items for Prebid and GAM. This enables you to filter reports to show only prebid related line items, differentiating header bidding performance from other revenue sources. Compare the impressions and revenue reported by demand partners with what's recorded in GAM for corresponding line items. Use HB Bidder key values in reports to generate a comparison report and address discrepancies that may signal setup or demand partner issues. Lastly, Leverage Google Ad Manager reports for insights into ad performance, auction insights, geography, and essential KPIs. 
familiarize yourself with GAMS interface and features for efficient campaign optimization and issue identification. By following these steps and strategies, you'll be well equipped to effectively monitor and optimize your PBIT performance in Google Ad Manager. And that's a wrap! Thank you for joining us on this journey. Stay tuned for more helpful guides and insights, and be sure to check out our blog for additional information.